men deployed at a checkpoint in Olu local government area of Imo State have shot dead a motorist, causing tension in the area. Sahara reporters obtained a video made by some of the high witnesses where three armed policemen were seen around the victim lying on the ground. From the video, the victim was driving a silver Lexus car. The policemen at the checkpoint reportedly fired tear gas constantly into the hair to prevent eyewitnesses from perhaps taking photos or video of the incident. Eyewitness wrote, Happening now, policemen have just kicked somebody along Iyoma Road in Olu local government area of Imo State. Please share. We are also spread tear gas. People are running as we speak. I am seeing this live as it is unfolding. The man that was shot was in the vehicle right now behind us. We don't know why the policeman shot him. The man is already done. This is happening in Imo State. Please share. Hmm. Oh God, what a, what a tragedy. <laughs> These people, they are not ready to stop. I don't know why these people that was employed to protect the citizens, that are the same people killing us. Police brutality hmm, can never be successfully eradicated unless there are adequate recruitment processes to be done. And Nigerian government should take note of this. If not, this is going to be happening every now and then. First, full medical history and educational background. The medical history entails full mental evaluation of that person. Because some persons, they don't colo before, then they crazy, they are not normal. And we know waiting day this country. When you have... Um, a, a politician that have a, a what is it called slot they could give you job you carry gun give the person if you see anti shoots anything the person sees he shoots so the government have to look into their mental history this is very very important then talking about the educational background educational background entails the level of education he or she has obtained. <laughs> Most officers are dropouts. Some of them are tout self. Criminals with record. They were given slot by politicians to appease them. This is the country we are. When you, are, when you give job to people that does not have the qualification, you face problem. That is it. You gave job, you gave position to somebody that does not know anything. You give job to somebody that is, that is mentally derailed. There's a problem. You know, people always think that no lady that person when we had a tear cloth, they work out for streets. Now I'm a mad person. No. That is not true. There are some persons that have issue mentally problem mental problem they get them but they know they wear they know they eat for street they know they enter market you see then they misbehave these things are what the government supposed to be checking properly why recruiting these people if nigerian government can successfully put this machinery in order the rate at which we saw these problems will would end. That is it. Because it's like they, there is something in them that is always telling them shoot, see God, shoot, see and shoot. Anything you see, shoot. That means they are not mentally okay. Because that gun is not meant for innocent Nigerians. You can imagine somebody that cannot even buy a car. If you see where then they go, driver, car owners for road, you go to imagine, say, what are these people doing? 
So this is a this is just the key point. The government should check their mentally, their mental states, their educational background. These two things will stop this this nonsense of killing innocent Nigerians. This have to stop because the people these people are killing, they are human beings. They are not animal. Now we now know that life is no longer valued. People take life they cannot give. People kill at ease without reason. They have to do something about it. That is just it. Okay, someone said, yeah. Hmm. Oh my God. These people, hmm. I wonder why policemen are killing innocent souls in this country. I wish the government could take action, measures, so as to tackle this sad development as a matter of urgent. Hmm. Okay, someone said that yeah, this is coming from Justice Chikendo said, all this killing in South, we end. I never heard of such in the North. Today is Imo. Tomorrow it will be Ongu. Ongu. Next is Lagos. Does it mean that North is so quiet and peaceful that there is no police there? Okay, someone said yet, yeah, after taking much Ogogoro, what do you expect with power, salary, and many children in the barrack premises? Boys and girls and family problem here and there. May the Lord help us. Amen to that. Okay, someone said yet, yeah, hmm. <laughs> One almost shot me at Lekki yesterday in the name of God. Uh, uh, curfew. It shall not be well with those who are enjoying Nigerian money and impose curfew on citizens. Lagos is not Borono and Shaku does not reside in the region. In this region, sorry. Why are you making life hard for people? Must we become poor in this Fulani kingdom? God, please, let your kingdom come. This is coming from Ajay. So, hello guys, I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Leave your comment below the comment section. Thank you very much for always coming out here. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And also, click the follow button. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much once again.